So, I have to talk to you about something. We know each other now, right? I need to get something off my chest. I have a smoking problem. And honestly, I'm not even interested in quitting. Recently, I've even gotten my son into it. I mean, we're talking pulled pork, ribs, bacon wrapped jalapenos, brisket, the works. What were you thinking I was talking about? Anyway, so typically what I use is I use my hot hands to move things out of the smoker or out of the oven. And I said before, I don't really like this because it's really tight and it's hard to get on my hand and I can't move my fingers very well and it just feels small. And then try getting this thing off, especially when it's greasy. Um, I've also told you before that once in a while, things get sent to me in the mail, right? And some I choose to review and some I choose not to. Well, then this appeared on my doorstep. A silicone oven mitt and hot pad. I'm like, yep, I'm going to review those. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down in the description for my social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's see if this silicone oven mitt is any good and maybe replace the hot hands. All right, let's take a look at these silicone hot pads and oven gloves. All right, let's see, open up the package. What do we have? Um, it's this cool, almost rock-like pattern. I like that. There's a, uh, a little handle I can put my hand in. I've got this little thing I can hang it. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's got the silicone on that side. Very nice. We've got some directions. And then I have the actual oven mitts themselves. I like this because some of the oven mitts or some of the silicone gloves that I have, I can't actually fit my fingers in. And this one, since it is the oven mitt style, I can put my whole hand in there. So they tell me this is heat resistant up to 500 degrees. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. So this video is not really to demonstrate my cooking ability. So I have a set of ribs here and I'm actually gonna put these in the smoker and then I'm gonna utilize my silicone oven mitt to see if I can grab the grate after it's been smoking for a little while and frankly, not burn myself. So let's go try this out. All right, now we turn this on. We're gonna turn this to temperature. I'm just gonna put it at 275. Our timer, we're just gonna set this for a generic 24 hours just to get it going. And now it's gonna heat up. And once it reaches the temperature, we will put in the ribs. In they go into the smoker. We'll see you in an hour, just to check up on you. All right, so let's check this out. We got some ribs going on in here. So right now I've got a temperature of about 220 on this grate. I'm grabbing it with these uh, oven mitts and I actually feel pretty good. Don't even feel anything on there. Pretty decent. So this has been smoking for about three hours now. So I'm gonna open it up. I love that I have this silicone glove to protect my hands because I'm gonna put in the probe. I want this to cook until it reaches about 195 degrees internal temperature. All right, now that our ribs have cooked, our timer went off, we reached the temperature we want. I get to use these gloves, put them right here. Now I'm gonna wrap this up, but the whole time I didn't burn myself and the mess here, I can just go wash off with soap and water. Pretty cool. Well, it's rested, it's out of the oven, cooked, and looks delicious. Mm-mm, good. So, tell me, what do you think of these silicone oven mitts? Are they something that you would use? Um, do you have something else that you, you like to use better? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now that we're done smoking some ribs, I'm gonna take you out to the grill and maybe we'll grill 
some bacon wrapped jalapenos. Let's go check that out now. Look like they're good. Let's see, I got a temperature in here of around 215 or 220 degrees, but it's okay. I've got these oven mitts on and I'm okay to grab them. Take them off, put them on there. Take them off, put them on there. That's pretty cool. What I like to do is I like to move this pan around and I don't need any kind of spatula. I don't need any kind of anything to grab it. I can just move this around. No problem, even though this thing's about 300 degrees. All right, so these are just about done. The pan here is yeah, it's about 260 degrees. A major test for these kind of gloves. Let's move this out. Can I pick up and hold this pan for 10 seconds? And doesn't seem to be hurting me. Remember how I said these gloves are rated for 500 degrees and we're about half that way. So you know what? I'm pretty impressed. I do not feel any heat whatsoever. So in this video, I've been looking at a set of silicone oven mitts and silicone hot pads, right? And so here's my thoughts about them. Let's first talk about the cons. Now, if I'm talking about the oven mitts, one, it's really hard to grab small things. So if I'm on cooking on the grill and I wanna grab a hot dog and move it or steak and flip it, it's hard to grab with these. I don't have a whole lot of range of motion. Those kind of things, you might wanna use something with fingers where it's a little easier to grab. However, taking a tray off the grill, absolutely grabbed it, held it, didn't hurt. Cookies in and out of the oven, no problem. This thing up to 500 degrees. Now my test um, didn't go above 400, and so like I did some cookies earlier in the week and I didn't necessarily show that on a video, but I could hold it and I didn't feel the heat transfer. So that's pretty cool. Um, I love the convenience of the hot pad because I have wood, um, an island that's made out of wood or it's wood top, and so I can drop this down and I put something hot on it. I know that I have some protection underneath and that really gives me peace of mind. The price point's not that bad. I will say I'm not necessarily gonna get rid of my hot hands because I have uses for both. Anyway, if you're interested in purchasing these, I'll leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews For You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review video of these silicone oven mitts and silicone hot pads. In this video, I included my As Seen On TV hot hands. Not that long ago, I did a review of the hot hands versus the of glove. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here, but make sure you're logged in so you can see this video and I don't look like a crazy person. So if you're interested in that review video, I would love it if you would click on this link and by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you over at that review video. Go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.